Hello and welcome to another one of our boat how to ask the expert videos on boat electrics. I'm Jan Attenstedt and I'm Nigel Calder and uh, today we'll talk about a serious but uh, unfortunately very common problem in electrical installations on boats. Stainless steel in the electrical circuits. We talk about this and many other issues in our Boat Electrics 101 course, but this is such an important topic that we also want to talk about it here. So, um, Nigel, what's the problem with misplaced stainless steel washers and nuts in uh, electrical circuits? Well, basically, stainless steel is almost non-conductive. It's got about 8% the conductivity of copper. So, so it will conduct, but it acts like a resistor in a circuit. Mm -hmm. So if you have a high current circuit, and you have a stainless steel washer in the circuit, let's say uh, you've got a washer between a, a terminal on a conductor and a bus bar, uh, and you're running 150 amps through that circuit, uh, that washer is going to get really hot. Mm -hmm. And uh, in fact, they can get hot enough to uh, melt down fuse holders and start fires. Mm -hmm. And actually, in the case of a fuse, which is where we commonly see this, because a fuse is a thermal device, uh, that washer can generate enough heat to blow the fuse, even though there's no overcurrent. Mm -hmm. And if that fuse is in a uh, high output alternator circuit, for example, mm -hmm. uh, you destroy the alternator because then you open circuit the alternator. And guess how we know? <laughs> <laughs> Have you yeah. had experience with oh, that? Yeah, or? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, not personally, but you know, mm -hmm. alternators that other people have installed, mm -hmm. and then they've blown the uh, alternator. Mm -hmm. And uh, then everybody's thinking there's some significant problem on the boat, and it's simply a stainless steel washer in the wrong place. Mm -hmm. So uh, we use a lot of stainless steel nowadays. We didn't used to, but we use a lot of stainless steel to bolt things together mm -hmm. in our electrical circuits. And there's nothing wrong with it. We just have to make sure that those washers mm -hmm. never get in between the conducting surfaces. No. So it's fine to put, let's say, a bus bar, then you put a, um, a cable lock, then a washer, and then a nut. Yeah. But you're not supposed to put the washer between the lug and the right. conductive circuit and of the bus bar. And what happens, and I see this all the time, is that um, people install the a &L fuses. They have stainless steel posts, mm. and uh, they have stainless steel nuts and washers, and they're typically mounted horizontally. Mm -hmm. So... The boat builder builds the boat without the fuses in there, mm -hmm. and then at the end of the project, they come to put the fuses in, and the conductors are already installed, the terminals are in there, and the fuse has to go on top of the, the terminals, mm -hmm. and there's a, there's a lock washer and a flat washer and a nut, and then they come to poke the fuse in there. You know those fuses mm -hmm. have a slot in one end that way and a slot this way, yeah. so you push it in and slide it sideways. Well one of the washers drops down and they don't notice it, mm -hmm. and right there it's in the circuit. Yeah. And I, I have and seen dozens of installations on brand new boats mm -hmm. with uh, washers in the wrong place. And because the ANL fuses are typically fairly high amperage, they're high amp circuits, so every one of those fuses is a problem. Mm. I mean, every one of those washers. Yeah. It, it's a potential fuse meltdown or, or mm -hmm. even a fire on the boat. Yeah. Well, that's uh, something to look out for on your boat. So thanks, yeah. Nigel. And um, if you want to learn more about things to look out for in your boat's electrical installation, Check out our courses on boat electrics at boathow2.com. See you soon.